What up, y'all? I have got some totes for us to look at today. I ain't too proud to tote. I ain't too proud to tote. I don't know if you know this, but tote bags have gotten kind of cool recently. I mean, it's kind of nice to carry them around. You might even see a lot of people on the subways in New York, LA, Tokyo, carrying their little, like those little thin book bags that you get, like when you support NPR. You got that kind of tote, and then you got like all the way up to this kind of tote, which is like, what's up? I'm a tote bag that carries your guns. Doesn't carry your guns. That was not what this does. It just has that tactical look. This is actually for stylish moms. Today, we are gonna look at several tote bags that I think you need to know about if you're considering going totally totes. And now the first one that I have to mention, I actually don't have anymore. I gave it away as one of the giveaways here on the YouTube channel, the Peak Tote Bag. So there's a whole other review that I've done on this, which I'll put in the information that pops up there. So the Everyday Tote Bag from Peak Designs is just a really thoughtful, well-made tote bag. You gotta check it out, watch the video. You probably already know about it if you're looking at tote bags, but in case you don't, check it out. So the Everyday Tote Bag from Peak Designs is really well-constructed. It has a lot of interesting features. It's very technical, like you can, I, I mean, I, I used it for a while and I really liked it. It wasn't perfect for me. In fact, I've got some here I wanna show you today that I prefer for my daily carry way more. Like this one from Crafted Goods, okay? I have not seen any of these guys work before, but I have to tell you how fun this bag is to use. First of all, hold your, hold your damn horses, you people who are like, oh, I'm not doing, a, I'm not fucking doing a tote bag, dude. I'm not doing a tote. Hey, dude, this guy's doing a tote bag. I'm not doing a tote, are you doing a tote? Nope, don't worry about it. This thing's like a cool little, it's just a backpack that happens to have some handles at the top. Most of these bags are like that. So this crafted goods bag, I have loaded up with all my stuff. Let me walk you through it a little bit. First and foremost, I mean, this is what you want a bag to feel like when you purchase a bag, when you're like hunting on the internet and you're like, oh, that looks good. Maybe I'll go with that one. I don't know, it's kind of expensive. Should I get it? And then it comes and it feels like this, like you're gonna be stoked. The feel, the tactile stuff, that's the thing that's really hard to show on, even on video, let alone on like images on their website. The tactile stuff on this bag is dope. It feels really quality. Second of all, you gotta look at the look. I mean, this is obviously kind of an intense look, but it's also sort of like, this is sort of street, man. This is a very street vibe, Te you know. Tote bags are kind of street. And for me, this is like right in my wheelhouse. I love this look. I love this bag. I fucking love this bag. Then the next question you gotta ask yourself is does it have enough space to fit your stuff for daily carry? Now I'm using this just as my daily carry. I bring my laptop around to the cafe. I edit videos, I do email, I get around town, I go have lunch with friends and stuff like that. So I gotta have a bag that can work for my computer, my spare little hard drive, stuff like that. And this is like, it's tight, it's tight. I added a, uh, I added this little pouch on it, which they sent as well. It is an accessory that attaches by Molle. They call this kind of accessory strap in the, in the biz, Molle, M-O-L-L-E. Uh, and they make these awesome pouches that are like, like this is perfect. It fits right on right on front and I think it looks good too. And it provides a little extra organization, which I needed. Is it nice to carry? Yes, it's actually great to carry. It's perfect size in terms of like where it falls, how, how tall the handles are. Also, the handles, are really, really f like they're they've got a tiny bit of padding inside of a basic webbing nylon. They're adjustable, so you can get them higher or lower. I've got them pulled down basically as tight as you can. It's a really, really good feeling in your hand. Probably the best of this of this whole group in terms of like, wow, I like touching that. I don't know if you know this, but that's like that's what I geek out on in bags. Is like I want it to feel. Right, you can get a lot of bags, like the nomadic bags or wandered bags or, um, you know, like that are, that are like Kickstarter bags and they have tons and tons of features. But when you get them, what it feels like doesn't quite have, even though the materials are all gonna last you forever, they just don't have that density, that softness, that, that whatever, that tactile thing. And when you find a bag that does, it really, it really is an upgrade on your daily life. Like it, it, it makes your life better every, every single day. So this one is nice to carry. It has great straps. It's got a nice little, you know, just a little bit of, uh, of 
uh, what do you call this here? Mesh? They call it mesh. A little bit of mesh on the back so you don't sweat out too much. Good straps. The straps can good, get folded away, put inside this pouch here. So they can you can be strapless. You can go strapless, which I think is a much freer way to be. Or you pull those straps out and, I mean, these are seriously robust straps. I mean, almost overkill, but it fits the look of the bag with a sternum strap and... <laughs> Dude, this thing's dope. Now, is it nice to use? Yes, it is. Because I've got this extra pouch on the front, I've got all sorts of extra organization stuff in here. By the way, there is a little strap that came with this because this can unclip from the bag and then be used as like a little uh, over the shoulder bag. I, I don't know, I wouldn't typically do that, but if I was traveling somewhere and I just need a little bag to like throw a baguette and some cheese in, like I would totally do that. Some organization in there. We got a zipper on the top, which is water sealed. All these zippers are water sealed. This thing's basically waterproof, let alone water resistant. And then inside, you've got room for stuff. Let me show you. Okay, first of all, I always have my water bottle with me because uh, I'm just like that. Second of all, every once in a while, you gotta bring a book around. This is Alan Watts' autobiography. I mean, I don't understand why everybody isn't reading this damn dumb book. I mean, you, you make your life as difficult as you'd like it to be. <laughs> or you can read my books and understand that most of what you're experiencing is simply in your head. So you gotta have some room for that kind of guy. <laughs> what a dick. Then there are basically, there's a, there's a perfect place for papers. Oh, for business papers, man. Down one side of the bag, it's like this uh, business papers place where I have my iPad Pro, uh, which I occasionally sketch in. This is for your business papers. And then on the other side is your laptop compartment. Fits my 15 inch MacBook Pro perfectly. Okay, so that's like, that's the capacity and the size of the bag. Can you see it? Let's see, uh, see that? I mean, it's like a perfect little daily carry. I do have another little thing in here, which is uh, made by, what was this? Side by side, they sent me one of these. This is their like tech organizer. I moved all of my, my cords and cables into this thing. I'm not like, I think it's made really well. It's very comfortable. It's like nice. Like it has all these pockets and different things, different ways to set up your stuff. Um, but the form factor is tall and slender and, and you know, it's like that. So for the tote bag, it ended up working a little bit better. I think I still prefer like a little bit wider and flatter, but I wanted to set that up in here just to see what it's like. Okay, so that is the Mr. Groove tote bag slash backpack. I mean, it's mostly, most of these are mostly backpacks that happen to be very totable. And I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say like, honestly, I'm smitten with this thing. I love this bag. It will definitely go into my collection as one of my favorite bags to use for daily carry. Oh, by the way, I forgot to totally mention that there is a quick access pocket right here on the outside of the bag where I throw my headphones and, uh, and that's just, well, I always need that in a bag. It's nice to have a little quick access. By the way, I should also say that when you look at the pictures on their website, they have a second pouch that can go on this bag. This one moves a little bit over here, and then it's like more of a little bit, little bit slender uh, one. And uh, I don't know, it just looks really intense with that on. So I just go for the one and I'm done. All right, now check out this one from Bellroy. You see that nice fancy little thing? This is a fancy kind of bag. This is the Tokyo Tote from Bellroy. Okay, this is like a traditional classic. Like you kind of want to be dressed up to use this tote. A lot of ladies gonna like this tote. Hi, oh my God, Teresa, how are you? Dudes pulling off this tote? Dudes are, du dudes are more man than me pulling off this tote. Not necessarily, like I actually really dig the look of this, I like the simplicity of it, but it's very, you know, it's very toady. It feels very uh, toady. One of the best things about this bag to me is the materials, it feels really, really good. It's made out of great stuff. These handles, the, uh, the webbing, the simple nylon webbing that's on here, they have a little bit of texture on the inside just at the top so that when you put it over your shoulder, it's not going anywhere. You can see the, uh, the, the relative sort of size of the bag here. I just think it's like, it's actually really comfortable to carry. It's nice to carry around. It feels like you don't have a big old bag on your back or something like that. So it was a nice break for me. So it's really great materials. Uh, I think the design is extremely thoughtful. I'm gonna walk you through the pockets here in a second. Ultimately, the look is like a, 
it's like right, it's like right on the line for me between too much, uh, too, between too much tote. Now, does it have enough space for our stuff? This one is actually quite tight. First of all, uh, using it, we got the the quick access out here. Definitely big enough to put a pair of uh, glasses. I put my son, my uh, headphones right in here when I carry it. Um, I always like to have that stuff on the outside of the bag. That's sort of on the back of the bag. If this if this little guy is on the front, nothing else. I kind of wish there was another like if these if this was sewn down the middle, like see like behind this front panel, so you didn't see the stitching. But there was a way to kind of like put in like put stuff in directly in there. I think that would increase the functionality of this bag a ton. I would like that. Now we've got this great zipper uh, that goes down the middle to protect your stuff from, you know, wandering fingers. And then inside the bag, you've got just a, a like a pouch with a handful of pockets around the outside. So first of all, the same way that I packed the other bag that you've already seen, except I don't have my water bottle in there. I can't bring my water bottle in this bag precisely because my 15 inch MacBook does not fit very comfortably in here. The 15 inch MacBook takes up basically the, the entirety of the bottom of the bag. And so I, I, there's no special pocket for the 15. If you had a 13 inch, you'd be able to fit it just fine. I put my my uh, iPad directly into the, the pocket for your smaller sort of MacBook Airs. And I did have to take off my, uh, my keyboard to do that. Now, normally that's fine. I don't end up doing a lot of typing on this thing. So sometimes when I'm just grabbing this bag, I'll just throw it in without that. I don't need it. But if I needed that, I would put it in with my computer and I'd have to figure out a way to kind of keep them from rubbing up against each other too much. Now in the main compartment, just the center bit, I have my journal, my, uh, oh, hello there again. And uh, that same sort of pocket organ, that pouch organizer thing. Now this is like overkill. This feels really big. I like to keep this in, in like someplace that I'd never need to see it, right? But this is, this is huge for just some dongles and stuff. It feels like way too big. I don't think I'm gonna be using this once I'm out of the totes. Okay, and then in the main compartment as well, I just slide my laptop in. Slide it in. It's it's not uh it's not that unprotected. There's some padding around the bottom of the bag. It's not that bad, but it's not very protected. I didn't mind carrying it though. That's how I roll, man. I'm dangerous like that. Okay, so then this is gonna be hard to show you, but on the inside of the bag, on both sides. There is a sort of, you see that? How that kind of comes up? This is a way that you can you you can have a pocket that opens up on the side inside of the bag. I threw my charger in there. That would be perfect for a water bottle. See that, it fit right in without even looking. It's nice and big and spacious, but because my laptop does not fit um, in that laptop uh, sleeve, it's much too big, and it won't fit vertically and still zip which isn't bad. I mean, if I wasn't living in such a rainy climate, I would be able to do that. And um, I don't like commute on public transportation or anything like that. But as it is, I, I need to be able to zip this up to just in case some rain happens. And then the same water bottle pocket, like sort of pouch thingy on the other side. Okay. Where I've clipped some pens there and uh, I can pull this guy out. And then on the top, these sides, you have two smaller, you could see my glasses case right here. It just goes right to there. Perfect for my glasses cases. I wish it was bigger to fit my MacBook Pro charger. Belroy, make that a little bit bigger to fit my charger. Thank you. So ultimately the Tokyo tote from Belroy is like, it's, I'm amazed by the quality in the materials here. I think the design is very solid. It's super like just standard. It's like, it's very classic. It's very classic. And I like, I, I just like the materials and I like the feel. I wish it was a little bit different on the inside for my carry needs. And now for something completely different. This is the day tote from Question. Question. Uh, this is a very innovative and interesting bag to me. First of all, we've got this handle system, which also doubles as your backpack straps, okay? The, ba the backpack straps are just like thin webbing, so you don't wanna be hiking around all day, but to be honest, it's such a light pack and you can adjust them to be higher and stuff like that, it's just a little complicated. You adjust the length of the straps here on the front. Let's see 
how that works. Right now, this has as much stuff in it as, as the other bags that I've shown you, but it feels so much lighter when it's on because it's just made out of this simple organic cotton. You can see back here, looks pretty nice. Or you pull it down and it takes a couple little jiggles and now you've got it as a tote and it hangs you straight down at the bottom of your, uh, right, off the, right off your arm. You don't have to lean over at all or anything like that. It's really comfortable. Nice leather handle. This one is made out of their sort of organic washed canvas. It's very rugged and, and very dry chalky feeling. I think they have probably some some better fabric options nowadays. They have one that has like that has like leather I think down at the bottom which looks pretty sweet. So the look is kind of nice. It's very very simple, right? I've got it packed out kind of funky. You're going to see in a, in a second why it looks so big down here at the bottom. It does not need to. Uh does it have enough space? And yes, it does. Now, one of the reasons why I like to keep the straps as long as possible is because in order to get into it, you basically just pull these over. You just, you're just like, here, let me help you with that. And then you get into the main compartment of the bag and the sort of like top quick access -y pocket in the bag, which I love. Look at this pocket. It is so stinking just like, it's just an open pocket that this folds over, right? So it's not the most secure thing in the world. However, when you get to where you're going and I have like everything I need right here besides my computer, which is just right there. I like that a lot. Okay. So I've, uh, I put my pens in this little leather thing. That's like a little question, just has the logo. Really sensible branding here, like minimal. Love this company. Inside of there, I've got my MacBook charger, my glasses in a protective glasses case, and my headphones, which I can kind of reach in through the side and grab. Now there is a quick access little zippered guy over here on the back of the bag. I just tend not to use it because it's right up against me and I don't like to squish my little headphones that way, but it would be great for uh, for your keys. So I'm into the bag, we've got our quick access and then it's this main pocket. Now there's more to this bag than meets the eye, but I will show you this main pocket first. So it's big, right? It kind of, it's got a lot of space and then this has to fold over to close. So it, it ends up feeling, you know, pretty spacious. Now there's a really nice laptop pocket in here. I just like it. It's like got this quilted thing that's like imposit that, that that thing that you see right there. I just like the material a lot. Let's see if we can see it here. Um, in the bag I have got my water bottle. Okay. My, oh hello there. My journal that I've been using and then my uh, iPad Pro. Yeah, I don't think it's getting you any much of a better look at the, oh there you go. See that quilted stuff in there? It's really nice. It's got, it's got a little elastic on the top, plenty of space to be able to fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I think they designed this bag specifically for like, you know, designers who are going to some startup or something like that. It's just the perfect designer's backpack. But there's also this zipper down the side, which gets us access just into that main pouch, main pocket, right? As well, as a little hidden zipper inside there, okay? This is why the bag was sort of pooched out up in front because I took my cable thing and I just threw it in there. So that pocket basically takes up the whole, like from here down, from here, it's a big, it's a big pocket. So this thing fit in there easily. I wouldn't typically carry it like that. I just put it in there so it would remind me that I could show this to you guys. So the day tote from Kvestian is a very, to me, a very innovative and simple bag. And I think, you know, what they say about simple, simple is hard. By the way, I'm gonna have links to each of these in the description below. And uh, when you use those links to purchase, for some of the bags, maybe it's going to be an affiliate link. So that means that it will support the channel if you purchase through those link. I'm very grateful to any of you who do so. Now, check out this nice little number from Why Not, Y N O T in Canada. One of my favorite, sort of new, new to me, uh, hand making bag company here in North America. They're in Canada. This is with their dope wax canvas, which I like so much. I think ultimately it's a really cool look for a bag. It's just very stylish, sort of Indiana Jones. I like wax canvas. I like wax canvas over leather. I like wax canvas over just about anything because it has that kind of old world feel, but it doesn't, it's not too much. It's never like, I'm leather. You know, it's just like, hey man, I'm fucking wax canvas, dude. Got the uh, minimal backpack straps with some, just some nylon seatbelt webbing stuff, which actually ends up feeling pretty good when it's on. Carrying this guy is just, 
like comfortable. It's just nothing really. I mean, it's such a small bag. It's such a little guy. Look at me. I mean, God, hi. Oh my God, look at you. You're so cute. Okay, remember I'm 5'10", so this is roughly the size we're looking at. And speaking of size, I'd say this is probably one of the smaller bags uh, on this list. It ends up being, you know, much tighter than uh, than some of the others. If the Bellroy was like a little, like maybe more was wider, this one's a little narrower. I would do, I would like to have a little bit more wider, a little bit more diameter to be able to fit a tiny bit more in this bag because I don't think it would affect the look of the bag very much when it wasn't packed out. Okay, so what's it like to use? First of all, these pockets on the outside, they don't have any weather sort of seal on the top. There's no flap that goes over these guys. So whatever's in there is gonna get wet if you're in a rainy climate or something. Now for the summertime, that's totally fine. Uh, but for me, for the rain, rainy stuff, I had to throw basically everything inside except for my my glasses with the protective case. I was fine with that. So on the outside of the bag, I have my, uh, my MacBook charger, which I just throw in. I have my glasses, I have my headphones, and I have my little journal from, or notebook, from Baron Fig. I, I just have to say how much I love pockets that don't have a top to them. Like I really like that. Um, the bummer is though, it is the winter in Portland. And so I had to think about this a lot. If it's not rainy or if you're like, I mean, you can't fit that much in here. So I could easily open up this, this rain uh, resistant, this weather resistant zipper and throw whatever I got inside when it's like, I look outside the cafe, it's like, oh no, it's raining. I'll just pick everything and move it up inside. So. It's not that bad. It's just a, it's just something you have to think about. Then let's check out these handles. Okay. So one is anchored down to the bag. Okay. And you can just support the whole bag with that one. Then the other one, they do this kind of innovative thing where you see these, these D rings here slip through up to a point. Okay. So that you can carry it kind of taller. So it's just right down by your feet, just off, for me, it's just off the ground. It's like three or four inches off the ground. So I can carry it like that, which is nice because then the bag is further down, or I can carry it like this. So see, like this, or like that. It's a little weird when you have two of the handles in your in your hand, but only one of them's holding it. So sometimes I just like, you know, flip that down and I just do that. I just hold it with the one. But to be frank, the vast majority of the time I've got it on my back. That's why I like these tote bags so much is because they all have backpack straps. Now, inside is actually more creative than you might think, even though how the bag comes is stock is like pretty minimal. Basically what comes in the bag is just a flap. They've got their diamond ripstop material that they line the bag in and then they have a flap here that you can pull out and it's it's zippered. I put my pens just in there. You could fit more in there, but whatever's in there is gonna be at the top of the bag. So kind of like, you know, easy to access, but it also makes it harder to access the stuff that's further down. Okay, so inside the bag here, I've got my, uh, where were you, where'd you go? My uh, big honky, massive, why do I have it in this thing? I just did it for the totes. Massive cable thing, <laughs> massive cable thing. Well, hello there, yes, I, I'd like to jump out of that bag now too. And that's all I have there at the bottom of the bag because as you can see here, my laptop and my iPad Pro, they're actually clipped in or sl slid into a laptop pocket that I got as an accessory. Here, I'll try to undo this Velcro that Velcros the this guy in because the bag has two sort of two flat rings sewn in so that you can do this thing. I love this guy. This is the guy I take with me when I travel and throw it into a daily carry because then my laptop and my iPad Pro are totally secure. I'll pull the iPad Pro out of there so you can see what we're working with. There's Velcro up at the top and those rings are sewn into the bag. You go, have you, so check this out, okay? It goes right in there like that and then you have Velcro it around. It's like, <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, and then my 15 my fifteen inch MacBook Pro fits right in and uh, I could just throw it in separately like that or I go ahead and clip it in. Okay, so a very mellow, cool, thoughtful, uh, low key tote bag with backpack straps from Why Not. I love their wax canvas material. It is really nice. I do wish this bag was slightly bigger. I would use this bag a ton if it was just slightly bigger. All right, now I've got two bags from Flowfold. This one's empty, obviously. Flowfold is making these great little tote bags that have very comfortable straps from cool material. I mean, look at this. So there are two sizes. One's quite big, one's 
quite small, but look at this small one. I'll show you that first. The small one, this is the same amount of stuff, including my water bottle, and it fits it just like perfectly. And while it's clear that it's a very simple look, there's something about this bag that I think looks and feels quite nice. Again, you can see this is the small one. It's a very, it's like a very, you know, not a lot, not a lot to it, but there's something sort of, not sort of, there's something incredibly honest and simple in the design of this bag. Okay, first of all, it's made, this one's made from some great materials. The Cordura feels nice. It's got some, it's, got some, it's very simple. It's a lightweight, very simple bag. Little tiny bit of mesh uh, on the back of the straps here. The straps do not come off the bag. They're sort of always there. So as you're carrying it, you're, it's mostly, it. that makes me think it's like, okay, it's a backpack that, that has, happens to have like tote handles, which I'm not, I, which I don't mind. Like, I like that. I, li I like to, sometimes I'll be carrying my bag like this. And so it's kind of nice that it has that look. On the outside of the bag, we've got a little quick, quick access pocket that goes down all the way to there, right? So in there, I've got my glasses and, my headphones. Then there's a zipper on the top of the bag. There's no weather, weather resistant seal on this guy. Okay, this this material is not weatherproof. Okay, their other one is. I'll show you that in a second. Now, very simple in terms of features on the inside of the bag, right? First of all, there is a kind of a, a pouch bit that has a zipper on the top where I've thrown my MacBook charger and my pens to quickly get to. Then on the underside of that, there is a place you can put your uh, your MacBook. This guy's got a simple, simple laptop, not just MacBooks. It's just got a very simple uh, nylon, you know, not nylon, but like whatever, Cordura wrap around bit for it. There's not padding anywhere in the bag that much. There is some padding on the back up against your back, which feels, which I'm glad is there. Okay, so I'll pull my MacBook out and then I've got, here's the stuff that's that's just thrown in there. My iPad Pro, my, hello, good to see you again. My notebook there, my, what the hell are you so big for thing? And then my water bottle, like all of that stuff fits right inside this sucker. I mean, look at this, it's, it's so small, but it ends up, performing like a larger bag. Now, here's the same thing, the exact same thing, but just in a larger size and with a, their sort of water resistant version. It's that really nice diamond something, something that's like no water gets through. You've got a water repellent seal uh, or re resistant seal on the zipper there, as well as the zipper on the top. And then inside the bag, you can see it's huge. It's actually a very large bag. I'll load it up and put it on here for a second. But the same exact thing with just a pouch that is made from that same diamond material, which I wish they would have gone for a softer thing for this pouch. It doesn't feel like it needs to be that weather resistant thing if it's in a weather resistant bag. And then a laptop uh, spot. By the way, the laptop spot on this one is quite large. I mean, it, again, it's not padded or anything. It's just like a separator. It'd be perfect for your uh, papers, your business papers man. But I can fit both my laptop and my iPad Pro in there just fine. Okay, so there's this thing set up just exactly the same as the orange one was. Um, lots of space in here. I could easily add, you know, a big old down jacket in there. Probably a couple more, uh, you know, wool sweaters would fit inside this bag. And when you put it on, it is a lot uh, bigger in its look, right? Not too big, I think it's fine. But personally, I prefer having a smaller bag. It just feels like I'm traveling lighter. All right, now check, check, check this one out. It is the 326 commuter co tote, commuter tote from Billy Kirk. Now this sucker is like American made to the T. It's a badass construction. It's just a straight up tote. There ain't, is there backpack straps? Nope, just a tote, bro. Okay, we've got like nine inch, nine inch big old leather, leather it like strap handle things, which are really nice. They're like, the whole thing is just made so well. The bottom piece is this crazy dope full grain leather. The material is really like, I don't know, it's really dense military grade stuff. Obviously this is in camo, but like, you know, they're either black and, and tan and stuff like that are also the same material, just not the camouflage, obviously. It's got a little loop over, a little leather loop over that goes through a little nibbin, little nipple nibbin. 
loopy. Okay, on the front of the bag, you've got a bigger pouch with a button, which is nice. It's like that magazine style pocket. You could just throw stuff into. I love that. I've got my notebook uh, just thrown in there. I love that. And on the other side, two open mouth pouches, right? One of them's great for my MacBook charger. And the other one, headphones. I love these things. I want to see if you can actually fit the... Uh, because I got my water bottle inside. I want to see if you could actually fit a water bottle in here. Bada boom. Bada bang. Bada bigga bigga digga digga dang. Okay. These, this setup with these two, one of these guys and two of these guys, this setup is actually like so functional on the outside of a bag. It feels so good to use in daily use. Okay. So now we get in the inside of the bag and I do not know how I'm going to show you this because it's just pitch black darkness darkness in there okay you can see i've got my laptop down at the bottom i've got my ipad right i got my my cable thing uh which i've switched in to that for the purposes of this bag i've got uh i've got my ipad in there and then there is a compartment at the bottom for my laptop my 15 inch laptop fits right in there i will say it's not the perfect size you can see this button right here it has some metal that kind of like clicks up against that laptop. I don't like that. That's not my favorite. If it was a 13 inch, it would fit just below that and it would clip in, I believe. But as it is, my 15 inch, just like, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. If I was using this a lot, I'd honestly just put a little like, like tape or something over over both of those things. I mean, I say it's fine. I, I If it was honestly scratching, if I was using it for a, for a bit and it was honestly scratching, I would get a little bit bummed and a little bit weirded out. Might need to put like another laptop, like a, a, a pad thing in there. Then I throw my laptop inside of that. But ultimately I'm just stoked that it has space for a 15 inch laptop in there. Okay, so then, I don't know, can you see that? There's some organization in here. Two big, well, that's our laptop thing. There's two big, that's, it's gonna be too hard to show you, honey. There's a nice piece of leather in here with like a handwritten number 326 camo on it. And of course, like <laughs> the pen just literally smeared right there as I moved, <laughs> as I pushed it, the silver beautiful thing is all, that's fucking handmade shit right there. And then below that, I've got a, a clip. It's got a little USA tag because, you know, made in the USA. Then I got some uh, uh, some places for my pens. Those two pockets on, then there's like a pocket on either side of those pens, which is like perfect size for my glasses case. Okay, so then opening up the bag here, let's see if we can get some light in there. Not really, darkness, darkness. Actually, that would be a serious improvement on this is if the inside of the bag was made with a lighter material, like a brighter, like a white uh, or, a, or yellow or orange or something like that, uh, because you would be able to see so much more inside. One of the things that's super nice about this is actually the liner, the inside of this, they didn't skimp. It's really, really nice nylon liner or Cordura or something. It's not Cordura. It's a, it's a, it's a heavier de denier or denier nylon. So it, it's, it feels really nice. I like that. That really makes a bag feel a lot more quality. This is one of those bags that your fingers are gonna know. Like your fingers are gonna know. They're like, oh shit, this feels good to use. Now, honestly, where I am in Portland, Oregon, I could get away with this for sure. If you're in New York, LA, if you wanna upgrade your style and you wanna kinda be like, how do I get cool? You're asking the wrong questions. You already are, brother. And you could use this and it would make you a little cooler. But it also make you, like, you gotta own it. Like, it's like, this is a hard thing to just pull off. Like, you can't, nobody, not just everybody can do this. But one of the amazing things about this is the craftsmanship. So when you're buying this, you're really buying something that'll last for a long fucking time, man. Links to this Billy Kirk down below in the description. As always, use the link if you, because it supports the channel if you can. Okay, you guys, what is your favorite tote? Which one was it? The Bellroy, the uh, Crafted Goods, Flow Fold, the Why Not? The question, which one was your favorite? I have been Chase Reeves, if you don't know me already. I do bag reviews like this all the time. I don't want people to purchase something and then have that buyer's remorse, that thing sucks. So on YouTube, it's easy to just sort of show. Here's exactly what you're getting. And so hopefully this video helped you with that. Subscribe if you haven't. And like I said, if you purchase any of these bags, 
please do so through the links in the description below or at my website, bagworks.co, where I'm collecting the ultimate list of the best bags right now. So check out bagworks.co for all of my current recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. I will be in the comments answering any questions as they come up, so don't hesitate to ask. In the meantime, as they say, it's time to be prime on you always are going to be the one as long as you're having fun. Never enter a dinner party without asking first if you should remove your shoes. Two and the birds are better than, are better than nothing. Bagworks.co JaceReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, Where I guess so. Let's hmm. go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.